short little video as a uh, compliment to the one I made before uh, about my boat not going any more about 2500 RPMs so I'm making this so uh, maybe somebody can avoid some of the problems I had <clears throat> so this is for simple people out there like me that were just trying to do this stuff on their own you know it takes forever to get a boat fixed and uh, if you have some basic mechanical knowledge you can do a lot of stuff like uh, you know these are the injectors right here and you can pull those out and clean them it's fairly easy it, it varies by boat model but uh, this is a mercury 150 uh, optimax two stroke and uh, you just take these two little bolts out right here and you grab some lows and they pull straight out and it's not like a typical fuel injector where it has something you can spray in it comes out the tip it's got like a, a reservoir with a screen around it and then the tip anyway you can clean those out and uh, of course the spark plugs very difficult to get to and another little tip is if you're gonna work uh, on the on the motor <clears throat> pull this bottom cowling out off it's not very difficult there's like a screw here uh, there's one down here uh, there's one on the front and then there's one on the bottom and then it comes right off it's very simple and it saves you a lot of heartache uh, dropping bolts and getting to the stuff but anyway my boat wouldn't go up to speed this is uh, the VST um, basically what that is, is it's got a fuel pump in here and a reservoir and a float um, this is your fuel filter and then you've got this other um, uh, fuel pump, golly. And this is your oil tank and the end of reserve tank that's in the boat. Well, anyway, I thought maybe it was a fuel delivery problem. So, took off the VST, completely cleaned it, changed the fuel filter, tested both the, both the uh, fuel pumps, um, changed all the fuel line because... I'm sure y'all have read about how that fuel line deteriorates and it gets flakes in it and can clog everything up. And there was indeed in the old fuel filter, it was full of uh, flakes from the inside of that lining. So I replaced the fuel line. And then back here behind this fuel pump, I don't know if you can see it, is the little fuel pump that just has a couple of um, <clears throat> little, little things in there. You can take it, easily take it apart and clean it too. But the whole reason I'm making the video I did all that and nothing changed. So, here's the easy tip that everybody needs to know about. So, these motors have something called guardian mode. And if something bad's wrong, it will uh, go into guardian mode and you won't be able to go very fast. And that's because it wants to protect the engine. So, you know, if I had some diagnostic equipment, I probably could have figured this out quicker, but I don't. It's real expensive. Uh, long story short, <clears throat> there is a... If I take this screw off right here, there's a little pin-shaped thing that pulls out. And what it does is it goes up and down as the level in this tank uh, goes up and down. It tells you whether you have any two-cycle oil or not in this tank. So if that sensor goes bad or that float goes bad, the engine believes that there's not any oil and it goes into guardian mode. Well, I didn't know that. And uh, that's probably should, the first thing I should have checked. That's why I'm making this video. Well, some people, or sometimes if you turn the key on and it goes into guardian mode like that, it'll beep at you. And it'll give you the fault codes. But mine didn't for some reason. I just bought this boat from some other person. And I don't know if... It, I did eventually get it to beep. And that's what kind of put me on mine to look for this. But um, it, it didn't beep when I turned on the key or when it was running. But anyway... You disconnect this. These, this. This wire goes behind the tank and goes down here to two little, two little uh, plugs. So what I did is I put a jumper wire in between them, and it runs like a freaking top. So hopefully I didn't do any damage with everything I did, taking it apart. But uh, but now it runs, and uh, I wait. You, oh, the other cool thing is, uh, you of course can't repair that float in there. Uh, you have to buy the whole new tank, which is one hundred and forty dollars. Uh, that's where I got it on boats.net. Nobody's got it currently. Everything's on back order. There's one out in Allen, Cabela's, but I don't want to drive all the way out there. <clears throat> and you can run it like this with that jumped. It's still going to fill and flow. 
So really, I don't even have to replace it. I could just disconnect this and leave that jumper in place and it would run just fine. But uh, if you ever did have an oiler problem, you'd burn your motor up. Anyway, just thought I'd give you that tip because I like to look things up on YouTube and and uh, I always tell you know, everybody that says about me, oh, Chris can fix anything. I can, and a lot of that has to do with YouTube and helpful Facebook links. Thank you anyway.